All right, welcome to the video about high paying industries and their average salaries. Uh, here's a little quiz for you. How much do you think doctors or physicians make? Well, it really depends because there's so many different types of physicians. Um, how about next one? How much do you think engineers make? Well, that also depends because there's many different types of engineers. Um, well, maybe you want to make a lot of money. So in this video, I want to discuss some of the high paying industries and some of the jobs and uh, salaries within those industries and uh, also share with you some resources to get you that high paying job. I'm Professor Job Offer and I spent the last 10 years across a number of different industries and uh, helped people get jobs and um, interviews at you know, some of the companies like this including Amazon and Google and I'm here to share with you my tips and tricks on landing your next high paying job offer. So um, what, are, what do you think are some of the uh, high paying industries? Um, take a guess on top five. I'll give you, uh, you could pause the video. And uh, here's a little disclaimer as well. Um, this is based on the US numbers and, um, and it depends on, it also depends on which sources I got those numbers from. So just take it as a reference. Uh, don't take it as an absolute value. But uh, well, first and foremost, some of you might have guessed, yes, the healthcare industry. So what does the healthcare industry uh, entail? So these are businesses that provide like medical services. So anything um, that's you know related to one's health, uh, manufacturing medical equipment or drugs. So including like pharmaceuticals, provide medical insurance as well, or facilitate the healthcare of patients. So uh, in many countries, this is um, a, a public kind of sector as well, like up there in Canada. So uh, these are some of the jobs in the healthcare industry. Uh, as you can see, I mean, doctors, physicians, registered nurses as well. But you also see things like the pharmacist or like a medical technologist who operates the um, high cost and high end medical equipment. And these are the approximate salaries that I found. And uh, the next high paying industry is the IT or tech, yeah, which was actually very popular and still is for the last uh, about 10 years or so. And, um, and this industry actually includes companies that do research development or distribution of technologically based goods and services. So we're talking about both products and services. So including businesses that manufacture electronics, uh, companies like, I don't know, Samsung, GE, right? uh, like household electronics as well, appliances, or create software and uh, like applications, including applications, computers or products and services relating to the information technology. And uh, the same thing here. I mean, now uh, we have some software engineers or app developers, uh, perhaps people working in the security, information security, and uh, something related to the data or uh, people that design how the users, the end users uh, experience and interact with the uh, with the different softwares. Uh, we call them UX UI designers. And these are the approximate salaries that I found. But uh, I mean, I know software engineers that make you know, over 300 grand a year. And I also know securities or business analysts, um, sorry, data analysts that make well over six figures. So these are just kind of the approximate the average salaries that you can kind of uh, expect to get. Um, yeah. And next high paying industry, the finance industry. I actually have quite a few friends in this industry, so let's see what this means. So these are companies that provide financial services to both uh, commercial and retail. So it means both to business and to retail customers, like individuals like us, including banks, uh, investment companies, insurance companies, and real estate firms. So think of these as like banks and um, they just do everything with money. And uh, some of the jobs in this industry include uh, jobs like the financial advisor or the investment banker, uh, accountant uh, with CPA, so um, certified public accountant. Uh, it's a designation that you probably want to get if you're studying uh, accounting. And uh, like people like insurance brokers and portfolio managers who actually uh, manage a uh, portfolio of different uh, stocks and securities and, and so on. So these are the people like on the Wall Street and, and such. And, and these are the approximate salaries that I was able to find <clears throat> online. And if I'm asking some of my friends, as you can see, there's a, a two asterisk next to um, the investment banker portfolio manager because their base salary may not seem all that high. It's because their bonuses are actually extensive. Their bonuses often exceed their salary depending on how well they perform uh, or how well their uh, investments perform. So uh, here's another one. The uh, high paying industry and natural resources. I was actually in this industry for about two years uh, in, in oil, oil and gas. Um, <clears throat> these are companies, um, these, this is an industry dedicated to the location and extraction of natural resources around the world. So we're talking about like precious metals or minerals or energy like oil and gas, and uh, they're mining this for profit. So 
some of the jobs in this industry may uh, because it's uh, relating to the natural resources and locating them. We have like the land admins, uh, different types of engineers, uh, at least four of them. And we have people like craftsmen who, um, uh, who are also working in the industry or because uh, this can be quite dangerous, uh, the health and safety officers, they always have health and safety officers and these industries heavily emphasize uh, the importance of safety and some technologists who are also working in this field. So let's take a look at some of the average salaries. Um, so same thing here. You might not think these are uh, these are accurate based on your experiences or what you've heard, but uh, these are the general figures that I was able to find uh, kind of across the US and uh, from my previous experience of working there, so almost like 10 years ago already. So, uh, and let's see, the last uh, high paying industry that I added to the list is the legal industry. Uh, of course, some of you might think, yeah, anything related to the law. So uh, this is an industry or these people carry out legal services, including legal representation or give you legal advice or legal document prep or notarization, arbitration and admin and operation of like civil law courts. So if you are saying, I'm going to sue you, these are the people that you'd be looking for. Um, and some of the jobs in there, of course, the judge, which is uh, actually a public job. In, and so you, you get paid by the government in, in most countries. And you have the legal counsel in-house. It means you're a uh, lawyer for a company, representing a company, you, um, not for a law firm. And you have the public prosecutors and you have the attorneys and the paralegals. So yeah, as you might have guessed, I mean, judges get uh, a lot of money. And most, of time, mo most times judges are appointed as well. Um, and you don't really become a judge until you've had quite an uh, extensive experience with law. And uh, you, know, you have the prosecutors and attorneys uh, as well. Actually, the salaries of uh, lawyers have gone up quite a, quite a bit uh, in the last couple of years. So um, anyways, let's take a look at some of the resources to get you uh, this high paying job. So, uh, well, first and foremost, you definitely need some degree of post-secondary education in the related field. I mean, if you want to be a physician, you have to uh, go to medical school. <laughs> or if you want to be an engineer, you need to study engineering or a lawyer. You need to go to law school, right? And, uh, and once you have that, you want to represent your education on your resume. Uh, like this and uh, like literally line by line I have a video on how to write the education section on your resume line by line and explaining exactly what to put on each line um, and uh, okay once you have your education you want to prepare your resume or CV uh, and your CV, resume or CV should include your relevant experiences and you should be highlighting your skills and knowledge and use action verbs and numbers and you may be wondering how do I use action verbs and numbers on my resume well I also have a video uh, highlighting with an example on how to utilize these action verbs and numbers to create uh, bullet points like this on your resume uh, or on your CV. And um, I mean, this is another resource that I actually take it from a blank page to something like this, uh, where how you write a resume from scratch, including some of the margins uh, and such in 20 minutes. So uh, there is a resource to that. And once you have your resume, you want to find a job posting. And um, what you want to do is you want to analyze the job posting, not just read it passively, but while you're reading, it, you want to identify the keywords and tailor your existing resume and CV that you've created to the job that you're applying for. And uh, actually, these are uh, two of my freshest new videos. And um, I, I highlight the details on how uh, you can go about in analyzing the job posting and identify those keywords. And uh, part two actually includes the application of that, how to apply those, uh, uh, apply that method so you can identify the keywords. And you can, um, and, and from that, you can actually design and tailor your resume to something like this. So you get a high score on the applicant tracking system or the ATS and uh, be invited in for an interview like this. And uh, there's a whole video on the ATSs as well. And uh, once you are invited in for an uh, interview, well, you better ace the interview. And uh, to do that, you need to understand the different types of interview questions and know how to answer these in a way that the, uh, the HR or the hiring manager can actually uh, understand you and uh, get a better idea of your skills, knowledge, and experiences. And you should also have uh, prepare some questions uh, to ask during the interview. And there are many resources uh, regarding that. So um, anyhow, they're all out there for you right here on YouTube. And in this video, I discuss some of the high paying industries, five of them to be exact, and uh, some of the jobs and salaries uh, of uh, uh, those industries and uh, shared with you some resources to get that high paying job. So uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. Professor Job Offer out.